Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. If you guys saw my last one, it was on the pink diamond Giannis Antetokounmpo that you guys get from what we're talking about today, which is the Spotlight Kareem Abdul-Jabbar challenges. Um, to show you guys how to complete every single one of these today, it takes a while, it's a bit of a grind, but it's definitely worth it for that pink diamond Giannis. If you guys want to see why, well, get onto the link down below, or just watch this video the entire way through, and at the end screen, you're going to see latest video. Click on that, and then you can watch Giannis, who's a beast. I definitely recommend it. So, um, if I'm being 110% honest, this, in my opinion, was one of the easiest spotlights that I've ever done. I don't really feel like it was that difficult. Um... And yeah, a lot of the cards are really good defensively, which makes it really easy to get stops. Like, obviously Kareem himself is a defensive god. Um, I'm almost actually finished with that. You can see I only need 25 boards and we're good with that. And he's Amy. Um, I have, who is it? Who is it? There we go. Lucius, Lucius Allen. Wow, how did I mess that up so bad? Um, who I almost got up to Amethyst working on that. Might have a gameplay with him soon. I got John McLaughlin up there and all that. These guys are so, so, so good. Um, defensively now i'm going to tell you guys about lineups that i kind of ran obviously one of them kind of looks like this um what i did for a while was run uh lucius allen and i think where'd he go the there we go john mclaughlin and i really just tried to evo these guys up we had kareem over there obviously i didn't have Giannis yet i was using lamar odom who in my opinion is a very very good substitute obviously he's nowhere near the level of Giannis, but he's still an amazing card and that's kind of what I did a lot. I had Lamar Odom to play really good defense. And for a while, actually, I took this Blake Griffin, put him on the bench, and was actually running Emile Jefferson because Emile Jefferson cannot get boards, do any of that. So it allowed a lot of offensive rebounds for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and it really helped me out. And that's kind of just the basic thing that you guys want to run with. Now, there's one game in specific that I really want to talk to you guys about because I know that some of you guys might have some trouble with it. And I think it is game nine right here. We have to hold Bill Walton to under 15 points. So the lineup that you're really going to want to run um, in that one is something like this. Get a, Obviously, Kareem at center. I think that's one of your best options, if I'm being honest. Get him to Ruby, though. And then at power forward, run a good um, defensive, like post-defense kind of guy. I'm using Blake Griffin. You could use KG... Um, who's really good, obviously Chris Webber. Just get somebody who can play that power forward position who can really clamp it down. Lamar Odom, again, is another really, really good option. I love Lamar Odom. This card is so versatile. So you can get the boards and make sure everything goes on because if you make him miss, a lot of the times they get the board, put it back, and you can get some points. And you want to make sure that you know, you're not letting that happen. So um, we're going to talk real quick about how I kind of defended that and how I went through um, holding Bill Walton to uh, 15 points. Uh, I'm going to show, I think I have two clips right now about how I kind of went about that. Actually, not right now. You guys might be a little confused because nothing popped up. But right now, defensive center is going to pop up that I'm going to show you guys how to do right there. You just go, put everything on tight for both four people baseline. Um, you want to move, I think, both of them to the left when you go to offensive settings and then pick Bucks 2018. So that's basically what you're going to want to do. You're also going to want to go into your matchups and then switch everybody to who you desire um, them to guard. Like if you are running a weak defensive PG, for example, uh, maybe run a good small four that can play defense, put them on the PG so they can clamp. Just what you want to do. So then now the clips are popping up. You're just going to want to play off ball. Um, force the ball away from Bill Walton. Um, a lot of the times I played off ball, I followed Bill Walton the entire time. When he got it, I made sure to try to get blocked. I got the boards. I was trying to stop everything. And a really good tip is if you get a good lead and you want to make sure that Bill Walton does not get buckets, go to the small forward, go to the point guard, somebody, and back off of them, and they're just going to shoot. So if Bill Walton is close to kind of like getting a bucket, maybe back off the guy in the corner so they're going to give it to the corner and the corner guy can shoot. That's a really good way. I was up by like 30 in this game. I think I think you're seeing the clips. I might be lying. I think I was up at least 20 to 30 towards the end of it. I think I'm showing you some early clips, um, which I think the game was closer then. But just try to back off of them, let some of them shoot, and I think it'll come to you guys really easy. Um, the next point that I'm talking to you guys about now um, is going to be the points. You're gonna need points for game number three, game number four, because you have to get 50 with Kareem. It's only on rookie though, super easy. You have to get 
um, 30 on pro difficulty with Kareem on game four. And then the super, super difficult one is getting 60 points with Kareem in the spotlight finale. It's super difficult and I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna have a little bit of trouble with it. Um, but just before we talk about that, I want to let you guys know the card that you don't need, you can see it right here, is Norm Nixon for game 17. But you're going to need every single one of the cards at some point during um, the game. You can see John McLaughlin and Lu Lucius Allen right there along with Kareem. Um, I think it starts here. You can see you need Spencer Haywood. You need Norm Nixon for this game. And you need Jamal Wilkes despite not needing him later on. You can see you need Cooper and Rambis right there. You need everybody at some point. You can see where the, uh, you need Gary Payton for the, only the last game. Uh, who's the most expensive one but you need all the cards at some point but in the very last game you don't need nixon so keep that in mind pick up all the cards don't lock on the collection if you don't want to make sure if it asks you hit no and then come in and do it so now i'm showing you guys clips about the points and we're going to talk about how i really did that so you're going to see in a lot of these clips i literally just set the screen um and then once kareem rolls down to the paint give it to him and it's usually a post hook kareem's post hook when you get him is a 90 at Sapphire, if you get him to a Ruby, I think it might go up to a 97. I might be wrong on that. Um, it might be Amethyst that it goes up to a 97, but either way, he has deep hooks and a 90 uh, post hook. And I just caught it down low and I did a post hook every single time. Um, if you see after a while that they're jumping at the post hook, fake the post hook. And if they jump into you, you're gonna get two, foul, two free throws from a foul, or you can kind of get like a little up and under action, which really works well. Um, another thing that I did is um, I used Oscar. I'm specifically telling you guys about this last game. I used Diamond Oscar Robertson because, you know, he has Dimer, Floor General, um, Needle Thudder, all of that sort of stuff on Hall of Fame, which allows his passes to get through better. You want that Hall of Fame Needle Thudder. Um, and I used the pick and roll a lot with Oscar and gave it to Kareem in really good positions, and I took a lot, and I raged a lot in this game because it was so difficult, and I actually only won by two points and the only reason I won by two was because Shaq's um, buzzer beater to tie the game actually was a second off, like a half second off. We're talking like 0.1 seconds actually um, off. And official review deemed that it was too late and I actually won the game. It was crazy. Um, but you're really going to want to do that. You can also run pick and pops for the midi and try to get some midis. I didn't do that as much, um, but I think there may be a clip or two where I do hit the occasional midi, but I really just post hook to death. I've done so many post hooks today that were a sky hook that I really just want to puke. I have done so, so, so many of them. It's awful, but it's what gets it to you. You're going to want to get on the break um, and you're running the Bucks 2018 freelance, which means you're going to want to, you know, go in and walk up to Kareem on his side. You'll see, I think I do it a few times, and then you hold triangle or Y, and they'll actually go down. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know how to skyhook, you wanna hold, I think it's LT on Xbox or L2 um, on PlayStation, it might be LB. It's just the bottom left button on your controller, um, all the way at the top, you know, and that'll put you into the post, and then you press up on your right stick, which will make you do a post hook. Sometimes it doesn't work, and it, it does get frustrating, I promise you guys, but, Hopefully, eventually, it will work. Um, it takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of time, and you never know. Um, when it comes to matchups, you guys are just wanna go in and again, pick who you guys want to do. Um, for the lineup that I ran, I ran Gary Payton at the one, I ran um, Oscar Robertson at the two, I think I ran whoever it is. Um, oh, Jamal Wilkes, I ran at the three because he has good defense, Worthy at the four, and then Kareem at the five, and I didn't run anybody else the rest of the game. Uh, I'm almost positive that that is the lineup that I ran. Just gotta make sure. Yeah. I ran Wilkes at the three because he has Hall of Fame clan, so he's a really good option for defense at the three. Um, also, that pickpocket. I ran Oscar at the two because he has all of those Hall of Fame playmaking badges that really, really helps him out and uh, made everything great, including an Intimidator, which was amazing. Um, worthy because he was great at getting boards and did everything amazing for me down low. He actually was so clutch. Um, he's going, for, wow, I paid 190K for James Worthy and he's going for over 300. So I just made so much off of that. I'm sorry that you guys had to have to pay so much. I did pay 300K for Gary Payton though. Um, but yeah, that's the lineup that I ran. That's how I did it for game 17. I know it's going to be a difficult one that a lot of you guys are going to have trouble with. All the other ones are just win a game and I think are very easy. You guys come on whatever you want other than the required uh, guys. And I think overall, hopefully a lot of you guys can finish this. The only thing that's really gonna be hindering you is the 
MT that it takes. And for anybody who's gonna comment down below and hasn't watched at this point about MT, um, I have Gary Payton right here who's about to sell hopefully for 300K. James Worthy is about to sell hopefully 300K. I have a 70K pack, Scale Siakam, who might be selling. If you guys wanna pass Scale Siakam with a diamond contract, please pick this one up right here. Um, I have Tim Duncan who I'm waiting to sell because I picked up really cheap. I'm waiting to sell him when the last prime drops as well as John Stockton and then some Lamar Adams that I'm holding on. I have MT, don't worry, I didn't spend everything and go broke. Um, but hopefully this did help you guys out. If it did, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, like the video you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, we're on that road to uh, 2.9K. Comment down below if you guys have any sort of questions that I didn't answer. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see y'all in the next video.